and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, I'll be explaining how Construction Suite handles retainage on QuickBooks invoicing and an easy way to invoice for the retainage withheld on a job. Retainage is going to represent a portion of the work completed on an invoiced amount that's deliberately withheld until the work is substantially complete. This ensures that the contractor or subcontractor has satisfied their obligations and conditions before collecting the full payment amount on a job. QuickBooks invoices can be created in two ways, either from within QuickBooks itself or from the QuickBooks integration toolbar within a construction suite estimate, and each method will handle retainage differently. Let's take a look at creating an invoice with retainage from construction suite first. By selecting the Create QuickBooks Invoice option from the QuickBooks integration toolbar, you have the ability to choose the portions of the estimate that you would like to invoice for and what percentage of that work has been completed. We're going to go ahead and choose our selection here and say we're just going to invoice for the planning category and select OK. And we're going to invoice for 100% of that. You also have the ability to automatically withhold retainage from that invoice by checking the retainage box. And you can put a percent retainage in right here. We're going to go ahead and put 10% and see how it applies to our QuickBooks invoice. We're going to select OK and this is going to create our QuickBooks invoice right away. As you can see, the invoice has been created within QuickBooks for the work specified in that planning category, and at the bottom of the invoice, we have a subtotal line and a less retainage line that are used to deduct the given percentage from the invoice. The work completed is all still shown, but the retainage is deducted from the balance due on this invoice. We're going to save and close, and now we're going to create an invoice from directly within QuickBooks and see how that retainage is going to be treated. Now if we go up here to our new transactions and create an invoice, we're going to invoice for this estimate for on the job and choose to create an invoice for a percentage of the estimate and we'll just say 20 percent of the entire estimate in this case. As you will see when you create an invoice within QuickBooks the less retainage and subtotal lines are typically not applied by default so what you'll have to do is come down here to the bottom of the invoice type in your subtotal item which is actually a QuickBooks item as well as the less retainage and by default, 10% is going to show here. You can change this if you would like, but 10 is perfect for us. So we're going to go ahead and show here that that 10% has been deducted. And again, that's going to be removed from the balance due. Now, it's very important to note that when working with Construction Suite, your retainage should apply to all items on the invoice. If you have completed work and some of the items you're invoicing for need retainage withheld and others don't, you should create two separate invoices for those sets of items one for the items without retainage, and one for the items with retainage. The reason for this is that if you have retainage on an invoice, whether it's in the form of multiple less retainage lines or just one at the bottom, Construction Suite's going to take the total retainage withheld, divide that by the total amount of the work complete, and prorate that retainage percentage that it gets throughout every item on the invoice. Once you've completed your job and you're ready to collect the retainage that's been withheld, say we've done a couple more invoices, completed all the rest of the work on the job, we can easily collect that retainage by coming back to our QuickBooks integration tab within Construction Suite, choosing to create a QuickBooks invoice. And in this case, we just need to choose the option to invoice for retainage. When we select OK, what this is going to do is scan all of those invoices we have on the job within QuickBooks, find that less retainage line, and total up all those values for the less retainage lines within those invoices, and give us one single invoice for the total amount of the retainage received. So you'll notice that this $17,000 and change is going to be the sum of that first invoice we created from Construction Suite and the second invoice we created from QuickBooks. It's going to total those together. And if you had more invoices, of course, it would total those as well. You can now submit this final invoice to collect the retainage and receive full payment on your job. Retainage is a necessary part of many construction contracts. And without the right management tools, it's really easy to get shorted by forgotten retainage or poor tracking. With Construction Suite invoicing and QuickBooks integration, however, you can always rest assured that your retainage is being accounted for and that you never miss out when collecting payments for a job. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.